So hello, and welcome to episode six of the Barn Door Restoration. Uh, last episode, I covered stripping the rear frame off. And this episode, plan was to strip the front frame rails off. Made a slight change and decided to leave these uh, side supports and the splash shield. Uh, the reason for doing that, there's a couple of reasons. One, these turned out to be a lot better condition than I expected. Uh, so I uh, originally thought I was just going to hack them out of there and be done with it. Uh, but they're fairly good, so I'm going to save them and just repair them. Uh, second is, is that it's adding a lot of rigidity to the frame. And my next step is to build the frame jig up. Um, so I decided they're probably just as well to leave them there while I do that. They're not going to be in the way. There's no reason to take them off at this point. So I guess the first thing I did was remove the pedals. Uh, I didn't film any of that because I, I wasn't really expecting to, to remove them. It just sort of happened one day. <laughs> so the, the brake and the clutch pedal ride on a pin that goes through a, uh, a tube. And that pin seizes up in there. Uh, and it can be very difficult to get out because you have no access. It has to drive out towards the center, but there's no room to actually hit it with anything. Because I'm replacing a section of frame here, uh, I just drilled a hole in line with it, uh, heated it up, and then drove it out with the air chisel. Uh, the shaft, uh, the C-clips, uh, the uh, pedal arms are all in great shape. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Uh, the accelerator pedal is in good shape also. There's a little spot where it's wore very thin, so I'm going to build the metal up just a little bit. Uh, it's quite common for them to wear holes in the accelerator pedal. The emergency brake, or park brake, arm uh, actually come out, and all the parts are in excellent shape. Uh, they don't seem to be worn, there's not rust in them. The pin can be very difficult to get out. Um, I was able to heat it and with the air chisel slowly work it back and forth till it slid out. Uh, once I had those out, uh, the whole of the floor in the front was barely held with anything. I just basically picked it off. The front valance was just had a very few spots of metal holding it for that to come off. Now this under seat uh, structure is a bit of a pain. So when this is assembled at the factory, these two sides are spot welded to the splash panel, the bottom of this uh, storage area, and the cross member. And then it's set in between the frames and spot welded in. Or the frames are put up against it and spot welded, one or the other. The point is, is you don't have access to some of the spot welds. Uh, and when I reassemble it, I'm going to have to do it the same way in order to get uh, all the factory spot welds back in place. Uh, so once they put them in, uh, the top went on after, uh, and then the fenders went on. So we'll take them apart, we start with the fenders. The fenders have a, uh, a metal lips over this piece. Uh, it's clamped in and then spot welded in a few spots. So it's a matter of cutting those spot welds out and rolling the lip up a bit and breaking it loose. The back session was, is very rusty, so I was just able to cut that out for now. So I was lucky that both uh, fenders are... The front part is actually in very good shape. This would be hard to replicate, this piece. Uh, basically all I'm going to have to do is replace a bit around the bottom, uh, rebuild this flat top section. So once the two fenders are off, uh, then you have the top section here. Uh, now the top has a lip that comes up uh, onto the dividers that was spot welded and then the fenders were lipped over. So there's just a few more spot welds to cut uh, to remove them out of there. There's also a row of spot welds across the front where it spot welds to the floor section. And there is a strip across the bulkhead. Um, again there was quite a bit of the lip was rotted out so I was just able to cut that. Uh, so the top panel also has uh, the heater controls. Uh, so there's two tubes that go to the back, that have cables, that when you turn a knob, it pulls the cables and opens flaps so that air off the exhaust is blown up into the front of the bus. Yeah, I'm going to have to replace these tubes anyway, uh, so I just cut them off. The panel itself uh, is quite repairable. I'm going to completely replace the bottom lip. Um, the sides will have to be replaced, and then there's a section in the back. Uh, this back corner will have to be completely uh, 
reconstructed. So with the top off, uh, it had the, the bottom. It has a row of spot welds across uh, the top of the splash shield. They were hard to find uh, because it turns out this bottom plate was a lot thicker steel than I expected. This is it's actually thicker than 18 gauge. Uh, the other parts were about 20 gauge. This is almost a 16 gauge. It's very heavy. Uh, so when it was spot welded, it was kind of hard to see where the spot welds were. And also a lot of them actually didn't penetrate. Uh, so they actually broke out fairly easy in spots. So this piece, um, where it's spot welded to the uprights, uh, that lip is rotten. Uh, there's rust in between the layers. I knew it was going to not going to be any good. So I'm just going to add a new lip on both sides of this. And I'm going to reconstruct the back section. Uh, so once the bottom's out, uh, I guess the next step I took the bulkhead out. Uh, not much to that. A few spot welds out the back. Uh, completely rotted across the bottom. Uh, the bottom part of the bulkhead, uh, there's not enough there to try and save any of it. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, recreate that piece. Now that it's stripped, it's going to be much easier to get the frame jig built. Uh, earlier on, I started to build the frame jig. And then when trying to measure and get everything straight, it was just too difficult uh, to ensure everything was perfect. So now, with access, I can measure. Uh, I'm going to hook the laser back up to it. I can ensure everything is perfect as I build the jig. So I guess that's about uh, all I wanted to cover in this video. Um, next video, we'll be finishing off the frame jig. Uh, so if you want to see that, please subscribe so you don't miss it. I'm going to add some video of uh, doing the work and some, also some detailed video around uh, these areas. Uh, it's sometimes a seldom seen spot. It might be useful to, uh, to someone out there. So I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching.
Thank <laughs> you. 